Welcome to the demonstration session on Solar Simulator. I am Nidin Sevier, an interdisciplinary PhD scholar at IIT Madras. A solar simulator is an instrument designed to closely replicate sun spectrum at Earth surface. Characterizing lab fabricated solar cells under real sunlight is challenging because of the intensity variation throughout the day and across different locations. To overcome this issue, solar simulators are normally used. The main components of solar simulator includes a solar simulator lamp which reproduces the sun spectrum also called AM 1.5 spectrum. Most commonly xenon lamps or LED lamps are used for this purpose. In our solar simulator, xenon arc lamp is used. This is the stage of the solar simulator where the samples are placed during characterization. It is equipped with a backside probe and vacuum facility making it suitable for the characterization of first generation wafer based solar cell. These crocodile clips are used for bottom illuminated devices, especially third generation solar cells such as organic and perovskite solar cells. In contrast, micro manipulators like these are used for characterizing top illuminated devices including first generation wafer based and thin film solar cells. The stage is also equipped with a heating feature allowing the devices to measure at different temperatures. Moving to the electronic system, we use a K32401 source meter for IV measurement. The source meter is connected to the computer via GPIB connection. Before starting the measurement, the solar simulator is calibrated using a standard silicon solar cell certified by NREL. Under standard testing conditions, the reference cell produces a short circuit current of 130.9 milliamps and an open circuit voltage of 602.1 millivolt for an active area of 4 cm square. Other measurement results are displayed on the screen. This standard cell is used for calibrating the intensity of the light to 100 milliwatt per cm square. To further confirm the calibration, we use a photo detector provided by the manufacturer which provides 14.3 millivolt under 1 sun illumination. These are the precautions to be followed by using the solar simulator. The air condition should be set to standard room temperature to maintain consistent characterization condition. Also to cool down the lamp. The lamp produces a lot of heat. Uh, proper heat dissipation helps to extend the lamp life. The lamp should be switched on at least 10 minutes before the actual characterization. This is to ensure the stable operation, operating condition. Let's now look at how to use the solar simulator. The first step is to turn on the main power switch which supplies power to both the lamp and stage. Then switch on the lamp and allow it to stabilize for 10 minutes. Next turn on the source meter followed by PC and the monitor. As you can see, this is a class AAA solar simulator. A class AAA solar simulator is a high precision light source designed to replicate natural sunlight with exceptional accuracy. It meets class A standards in three key areas, spectral match, spectral uniformity and temporal stability. We also use a four probe configuration in the source meter setup to minimize the effects of parasitic resistance. To measure the IV characteristics, we use LabVIEW, which is interfaced with the source meter. The custom built LabVIEW program allows the user to define the number of dark and light runs, select the communication channel, specify the, specify the storage path, file name, and the data format, set the maximum and minimum values of voltage sweep along with the step size and complaint limit, define the delay between the voltage steps choose whether the measurement should be taken from the front or back panel of the source meter, select the sweep direction, whether it should be in the forward and reverse direction, etc. Before starting the measurement, a short circuit test is performed to ensure all connections are properly made. A linear IV curve in this test confirms that the connections are correct. For today's demonstration, we are using a perovskite solar cell fabricated in our lab in NIP configuration. This device consists of a FTO substrate, 
TiO2 as electron transport layer, a triple cation mixed halide perovskite as the absorber layer, pyrometer as the hole transport layer, and gold as the top electrode. As you can see, each substrate contains six pixels, each working as an individual solar cell. The active area of the pixel is 9 mm square. The top contact is taken from the metal pad connecting to the pixel and the bottom contact is taken from the straight line which is connected directly to the FTO. A black tape is used to ensure the light is falling only in the active area. The positive terminal of the source meter is connected to the top gold contact and the negative terminal is connected to the bottom FTO contact using crocodile tubes. For the dark measurements, the substrate is kept in a dark environment and the IV sweep is performed from minus 0.2 to 1.2 volt. The resulting graphs display the linear IV curve on the left and the semi-log plot on the right. The dark IV curve is crucial to evaluate the quality of the PIN junction. To perform the light measurement, turn on the solar simulator lamp and ensure the light is properly falling on the substrate and the pixel. Then switch on the indicator from the dark to light in the lab view program and run the IV sweep. As in the previous case, the left plot shows the linear IV curve and the right plot shows the semi-logarithmic IV plot. Using the IV data obtained under illumination, a JV curve can be plotted. From the JV curve, the key performance parameters such as open circuit voltage, short circuit current density, fill factor and the power conversion efficiency can be determined as shown in the figure. Once the measurement is complete, close the LabVIEW program and turn off the Keithley source meter. Then switch off the solar simulator lamp. After turning off the lamp, the power should be kept on during the lamp cooling time. Once the lamp cooling period is over, you can safely turn off the main power. With this, I would like to conclude this demonstration section. Thank you for your attention.